Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing my first cooking with Bella. I'm so excited because if you guys follow me on Snapchat or Twitter, you know this has been a long time coming. So I'm really excited to like finally start this series. I have all of my little cooking stuff over in the corner here ready for me to make it. So I'm making my favorite breakfast in the entire world. It's called shikshuka. If you guys have never had it, you need to go and make it right now because it is honestly the most delicious thing I've ever had in my life. I've posted about it on Instagram before. That's how much I like it and I never post food shots on Instagram. So I do want to mention this video is sponsored by Lifesum. It is an app and it's great because it helps you like track like you can track how much you're eating, they can give you meal plans, it gives you reminders to eat because I'm really bad at like eating breakfast and having snacks which like keeps your metabolism up. I have the notifications turned off on, on my phone so it'll give me a reminder like, how was your lunch? And I'm like, shit, like, and I'm like, shit, I have to go have lunch. So it's really great. It also has like specific meal plans and it tells you how much water to drink, which is really good because I feel like I drink a lot of water, but I don't drink enough water. And yeah, it has all of these plans. The one I'm on at the moment is the fat burner which is like you can't have carbs and recipes is great they have like all these options for you to look up like you can look up vegetarian you can look up low carb gluten free dairy free and then you go down it gives you like options like snack options dinner options things and I saw shook shooker on here it is one of the options and I was like shit that's what I'm making for my cooking with Bella holy shit so I have the recipe right here and we're about to cook this bitch up. So let's get into it. Woo! And it's actually dinner. It's it's, it's 7 p.m. right now and I'm making this for dinner because breakfast for dinner is the best kind of dinner. Got my trusty sidekick here. I'm not better than that, boy. Step one is to peel the garlic. Is this garlic? No. It's not. That's a mini onion. <laughs> Why did you get it? This is garlic. You're the one who got that. But no, it's garlic, you idiot. Oh, it is? Now we gotta chop, chop up the garlic. Ready? Mark. Ready, Master Chef. Don't chop your finger off. <laughs> okay, so now we have a brown onion and I'm just gonna dice this up. Give us a look. Fly. Oh yeah. Oh, no need to flip. No need to flip. Oh, oh. She put it. Oh. Okay. So now we have two cans of uh, diced tomatoes. Not any diced tomatoes. Australian diced tomatoes. Cold. Oh. Hey. Okay. So you just have to open it and then drain everything from it. Okay. Then we're adding a little bit of oil into our pan. So we just added in all the tomato, diced tomato. This is all the diced tomato and the juices. We decided to leave the juice in. Now we're adding some sweet paprika, one tablespoon. Ooh. And half a tablespoon of, oh, focus, hello. And half a tablespoon of cumin, like ground cumin. Okay, now we're gonna let this simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, probably best to keep an eye on it as well, just to make sure it doesn't like burn or anything like that, because we had that problem. So you just give a little stir, make sure it's to the, it doesn't really matter what it looks like. You want to make sure it's at the right consistency. It should have uh, gotten rid of most of the juices of the tomato. Okay, now we're going to add some sweet corn. I don't want to add too much, it says to add a whole can, but like, I'm not really about that sweet corn life. Then you let it sit for another five minutes. I feel like that was too much sweet corn, you know? Stir it all up. 
mix it all up and then you shake it all about. And that's what it's all about. And now you let it simmer for another five minutes. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Pepper? And now pepper thing is broken. Yeah, it is. Looks like we're putting a lot in, but we're actually not. And now, what you want to do is gently crack four eggs on top. So for the amount that we've made, I think it's like four eggs. Let them bubble up. I could have made it look a bit nice. <laughs> <laughs> then you just want to let this sit on a low heat until the eggs are firm. Like my titty. Should I pop it? I don't know. I'm gonna pop it. So we just put this on top of it. We don't have a lid for the pot, but I just put this on top and boom. Damn. We'll give it a little bit longer with that on there on a low heat. We waited so long without covering it, but you need to cover it. Yeah. Definitely cover it. So yeah, depending on how hard you like your eggs. Just leave it covered for a little bit. So apparently it's meant to serve it in a pan, so. We're just gonna eat it out of this. <laughs> Okay, so that brings us to the end of the first cooking with Bella. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to let me know if you actually try this out and tell me if you like it because it's so yummy. Um, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, all of that good stuff, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!